Yeah, no, count to three. Uh, one, two, three. And you normally count to four, don't you? Yeah. All right, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, that's working. Well, the first one that springs to mind is uh, the official City theme tune, um, written by uh, Godley and Cream, who were obviously 10cc. Uh, we met him, me and Scully met him recently, uh, somewhere out in London, and we were going, oh, you know, the tune, the City tune. And uh, we, was, uh, we were trying to explain to him that the B-side, Funky City, is even better. And uh, he got a bit upset by it. Got to say, he was like, oh, I can't believe all the things I've done. I'm just known for that, for that one song. We were like, but it's a tune though, isn't it? Do you wish you would have wrote it? I wouldn't mind doing it. I wouldn't mind doing some kind of City tune, but you, it's, the, it's, the, it's the words where it always falls down. You've got to get the word blue in and football and all that kind of thing. Moon as yeah. well. Moon, yeah. Um, I think Kevin Keegan once, we was at uh, Main Road and uh, he was trying to get me to write a song for City. And I was, for the same reasons, I was like, it's not really my thing to be honest. But um, So that would be, uh, the, what's the City tune called? Is it Blue is the Colour? Boys in blue. And it's in for the spin by Stepney. And that's dangerous. Bell in. So the boys in blue. The second one. Because usually, if you ask anyone else, they're all going to say Oasis, right? They're all going to say anything by Oasis. You don't want to name one of your own songs. Well, let's go with Don't Look Back in Anger, as it caused a near riot at Old Trafford uh, a few weeks ago. I've heard it sang on the, on the I've heard we've played it in the, the Etihad and uh, the fact, although winning the derby a couple of weeks ago was enough in itself and on top of that sitting in the studio watching Gary Neville have a stroke while it's happening was doubly good. It doesn't get any better than that for me. And then the last one, maybe Rocking All Over the World by Status Quo. Zabba's favourite. Because of Zabba. <laughs> and it's amazing to think that he arrives in England from Argentina and the one thing of British culture that he, or the two things status of British culture quo. that he loves is fish and chips and Status Quo. <laughs> I remember when we won the league a couple of years ago and we were lucky enough they brought us on the pitch and the celebrations and they were playing rocking all over the world through the PA and he was rocking all over the world. Whatever you say to pay your money, you take a chance. Whatever you need, whatever you lose, whatever you win, whatever you lose. Status quo. Who'd have thought it? But he's a dude, yeah. Love him. Well, we've got a bit of that, haven't we? We've got a bit of that. And I presume you know as well about Wonderwall being played in the dressing room. Do you know about just this? Just found out, yeah. Yeah, just yeah. found out, yeah. So the kit guys put it on as soon as the team have arrived. Yeah, I mean, I was saying to John Stones just there, it's like, you know, it's not really the song that kind of gets you in the mood for going out <laughs> playing football. You know what I mean? It's kind of like... It's not a rousing one, is it? No, unless Edison's singing it, you know what I mean? <laughs> June. Oh, it's a tune Do you like this one? So just take us through when you wrote this song. What, is this the one where you become a millionaire four times in one day? Yeah, belter it was. Uh, 11, 3, 7 and 11 again at night, yeah. I mean, I suppose I should be proud, but I have to have a word with Pep. He's in charge of this kind of thing, isn't he? Uh, yeah, do you know what? I think it was Pep that wanted it in the really? first place. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to go against the boss, so... Uh. So it's great. Yeah. <laughs> great choice, Pep. Mm. Yeah, thank you very much, Noel. And uh, we're going to see you play in the Etihad soon, maybe? 
Me? Uh, I'm not sure I'll ever fill the Etihad, no. Uh, no, we did it. We did it. I don't know how many times we did it. Three, four, three or four times. Um, no, I'll probably be able to play the gym in there. Cool, well, yeah, be good look, enough to sell you that tell out. us, we'll set it up, <laughs> yeah. No we'll fill out the Academy Stadium, don't worry. I could do that, that's what, like, 1,800 people, I could do it, I'm good for that. Just be your mates. Yeah. Cool, no, good Thank to you see you, Zoe. See you soon.